Hematopoiesis, Wikipedia Audio Hematopoiesis is the formation of blood cellular components. All cellular blood components are derived from hematopoietic stem cells. In a healthy adult person, approximately 10 11 10 12 new blood cells are produced daily in order to maintain steady state levels in the peripheral circulation. Hematopoietic stem cells reside in the medulla of the bone and have the unique ability to give rise to all of the different mature blood cell types and tissues. HSCs are self-renewing cells, when they proliferate, at least some of their daughter cells remain as HSCs, so the pool of stem cells is not depleted. This phenomenon is called asymmetric division. The other daughters of HSCs can follow any of the other differentiation pathways that lead to the production of one or more specific types of blood cell, but cannot renew themselves. The pool of progenitors is heterogeneous and can be divided into two groups, long-term self-renewing HSC and only transiently self-renewing HSC, also called short-terms. This is one of the main vital processes in the body. All blood cells are divided into three lineages. Hematopoietic stem cells Granulopoiesis is hematopoiesis of granulocytes. Megakaryocytopoiesis is hematopoiesis of megakaryocytes. Red blood cells also called erythrocytes are the oxygen-carrying cells. Erythrocytes are functional and are released into the blood. The number of reticulocytes, immature red blood cells, gives an estimate of the rate of erythropoiesis. Lymphocytes are the cornerstone of the adaptive immune system. They are derived from common lymphoid progenitors. The lymphoid lineage is composed of T cells, B cells and natural killer cells. This is lymphopoiesis, cells of the myeloid lineage, which include granulocytes, megakaryocytes, and macrophages, are derived from common myeloid progenitors, and are involved in such diverse roles as innate immunity and blood clotting. This is myelopoiesis. In developing embryos, blood formation occurs in aggregates of blood cells in the yolk sac called blood islands. As development progresses, blood formation occurs in the spleen, liver, and lymph nodes. When bone marrow develops, it eventually assumes the task of forming most of the blood cells for the entire organism. However, maturation, activation, and some proliferation of lymphoid cells occurs in the spleen, thymus, and lymph nodes. In children, hematopoiesis occurs in the marrow of the long bones such as the femur and tibia. In adults, it occurs mainly in the pelvis, cranium, vertebrae, and sternum. In some cases, the liver, thymus, and spleen may resume their hematopoietic function, if necessary. This is called extramedullary hematopoiesis. It may cause these organs to increase in size substantially. During fetal development, since bones and thus the bone marrow develop later, the liver functions as the main hematopoietic organ. Therefore, the liver is enlarged during development. In some vertebrates, hematopoiesis can occur wherever there is a loose stroma of connective tissue and slow blood supply such as the gut, spleen, or kidney. As a stem cell matures it undergoes changes in gene expression that limit the cell types that it can become and moves it closer to a specific cell type. These changes can often be tracked by monitoring the presence of proteins on the surface of the cell. Each successive change moves the cell closer to the final cell type and further limits its potential to become a different cell type. Two models for hematopoiesis have been proposed, determinism and stochastic theory. 
before the stem cells and other undifferentiated blood cells in the bone marrow, the determination is generally explained by the determinism theory of hematopoiesis, saying that colony-stimulating factors and other factors of the hematopoietic microenvironment determine the cells to follow a certain path of cell differentiation. This is the classical way of describing hematopoiesis. In stochastic theory, undifferentiated blood cells differentiate to specific cell types by randomness. This theory has been supported by experiments showing that within a population of mouse hematopoietic progenitor cells, underlying stochastic variability in the distribution of SCA1, a stem cell factor, subdivides the population into groups exhibiting variable rates of cellular differentiation. For example, under the influence of erythropoietin, a subpopulation of cells differentiated into erythrocytes at a sevenfold higher rate than the rest of the population. Furthermore, it was shown that if allowed to grow, this subpopulation re established the original subpopulation of cells, supporting the theory that this is a stochastic, reversible process. Another level at which stochasticity may be important is in the process of apoptosis and self-renewal. In this case, the hematopoietic microenvironment prevails upon some of the cells to survive and some, on the other hand, to perform apoptosis and die. By regulating this balance between different cell types, the bone marrow can alter the quantity of different cells to ultimately be produced. Red and white blood cell production is regulated with great precision in healthy humans, and the production of leukocytes is rapidly increased during infection. The proliferation and self-renewal of these cells depend on growth factors. One of the key players in self-renewal and development of hematopoietic cells is stem cell factor, which binds to the C-kit receptor on the HSC. Absence of SCF is lethal. There are other important glycoprotein growth factors which regulate the proliferation and maturation, such as interleukins IL-2, IL-3, IL-6, IL-7. Other factors, termed colony-stimulating factors, specifically stimulate the production of committed cells. Three CSFs are granulocyte macrophage CSF, granulocyte CSF, and macrophage CSF. These stimulate granulocyte formation and are active on either progenitor cells or end product cells. Erythropoietin is required for a myeloid progenitor cell to become an erythrocyte. On the other hand, Thrombopoietin makes myeloid progenitor cells differentiate to megakaryocytes. The diagram to the right provides examples of cytokines and the differentiated blood cells they give rise to. Locations Growth factors initiate signal transduction pathways, which lead to activation of transcription factors. Growth factors elicit different outcomes depending on the combination of factors and the cell stage of differentiation. For example, long-term expression of PU.1 results in myeloid commitment, and short-term induction of PU.1 activity leads to the formation of immature eosinophils. Recently, it was reported that transcription factors such as NF, B can be regulated by MICR ornas in hematopoiesis. The first key player of differentiation from HSC to a multipotent progenitor is transcription factor caught enhancer binding protein A. Mutations in C-EBPA are associated with acute myeloid leukemia. From this point, Cells can either differentiate along the erythroid megakaryocyte lineage or lymphoid and myeloid lineage, which have common progenitor, called lymphoid-primed multipotent progenitor. There are two main transcription factors. PU.1 for erythroid megakaryocyte lineage and GATA1, 
which leads to a lymphoid primed multipotent progenitor. Other transcription factors include ICAROS and GFI1 or IRF8. Significantly, certain factors elicit different responses at different stages in the hematopoiesis. For example, CEBPA in neutrophil development or PU.1 in monocytes and dendritic cell development. It is important to note that processes are not unidirectional, differentiated cells may regain attributes of progenitor cells. An example is PAX5 factor, which is important in B-cell development and associated with lymphomas. Surprisingly, PAX5 conditional knockout mice allowed peripheral mature B cells to de differentiate to early bone marrow progenitors. These findings show that transcription factors act as caretakers of differentiation level and not only as initiators. Mutations in transcription factors are tightly connected to blood cancers, as acute myeloid leukemia or acute lymphoblastic leukemia. For example, Icaros is known to be regulator of numerous biological events. Mice with no Icaros lack B cells, natural killer, and T cells. Icaros has six zinc fingers domains, four are conserved DNA binding domain and two are for dimerization. Very important finding is, that different zinc fingers are involved in binding to different place in DNA and this is the reason for pleiotropic effect of Icaros and different involvement in cancer, but mainly are mutations associated with BCRABL patients and it is bad prognostic marker. For a decade now, the evidence is growing that HSC maturation follows a myeloid-based model instead of the classical schoolbook dichotomy model. In the latter model, the HSC first generates a common myeloid erythroid progenitor and a common lymphoid progenitor. The CLP produces only T or B cells. The myeloid-based model postulates that HSCs first diverge into the CMEP and a common myelolymphoid progenitor, which generates T and B cell progenitors through a bipotential myeloid T progenitor and a myeloid B progenitor stage. The main difference is that in this new model, all erythroid, T and B lineage branches retain the potential to generate myeloid cells. The model proposes the idea of erythroid, T and B cells as specialized types of a prototypic myeloid HSC. Read more in Kawamoto ETAL 2010. Extramedullary Other vertebrates Maturation Cell fate determination Growth factors Transcription factors Myeloid-based model